Today's June 7th. Uh, we brought three of the eaglets that were captive hatched and reared by uh, parents, uh, eagle parents at our facility in Pigeon Forge. We brought them to our hack tower on Douglas Lake for the next phase of their development. Uh, from here, the, uh, two of the eaglets were eight weeks of age and one was six weeks of age. The six week old came from the Dollywood Park. We had to get it out of the nest because it was starting to look over the nest. We didn't want it to become imprinted on people. So it's now up here in its own uh, breeding, uh, its own compartment at the Hack Tower overlooking Douglas Lake. We've got two other eaglets that were uh, hatched by some other uh, eagle parents of ours and uh, these birds are eight weeks of age and so they've got all brown feathers already. All right, easy does it. Six two nine. Now this one's the youngest one. This came off of the, the Dollywood Park from the Independence and Franklin nest, and it was the oldest. It was actually a week older than the other two that are in the nest, but it was starting to look over the edge of the nest, so we had to take it off so it wouldn't become, see, see our people delivering food down below and, and see all the people on the Dollywood Park. And uh, so it'll, it'll go in its own compartment here, and we'll feed it uh, chunks of food until it gets just a little bit bigger and then it'll be eating its own uh, whole fish. There was a lot of people on the Eagle Nest Cam that were, that were sad to see this, this baby go because uh, they were used to seeing all three of the babies in there together and this guy was the bully all the time so he was, he was known as BB, Big Bird. And he would sometimes take all the food so he'd always get his food first and he'd fall asleep and then the mother would feed the other two. <laughs> Yeah, good strategy. Wasn't he first born? He was the first born. This, this eaglet was born on April 29th. Actually hatched from an egg on April 29th. But it won't be long. The other two will be joining this one. Another, another week or so, we'll have to remove the other two babies from the, eagle, the Dollywood Park nest that has the eagle cam. Here we go. And now the blue band on the left leg. Okay. You want to start preparing that food, Rob, you can. These eaglets, while they're up at the hack tower, will be fed with uh, minimum human contact. They will not see people or hear people while they're being fed. They won't know where their uh, food source is coming from. 
When these eagles are released at 13 weeks of age, we want them to be as wild as can be, and that's why we're taking great precautions not to imprint them on people. Uh, when they receive food up at the Hag Tower, they're going to receive it through sliding drawers, and they'll also get their water that way, so they'll never see the source of the food. And uh, we'll try to keep our voices down to a minimum while we're up here uh, feeding birds as well so that they don't associate food with human voices. We will have staff come up here twice a day to feed these eaglets and check on them. And another, another way that we can watch the birds and, and monitor the development from day to day is we have one-way mirrored glass windows here where the, the eagles can't see out but we can see in. And we put our heads under here and we can look in and see the youngsters. And monitor, you know, we can see whether they're starting to perch on perches or they're flapping their wings when a breeze comes through. Uh, all the different things we look for uh, in, the, in the stage of an eagle's development. We're up on the hack tower. It's about 20 feet off the ground. It's also called an artificial nesting and release tower. The eaglets have barred windows on the front side so they can, they can look at the lake all day, uh, Douglas Lake. And this is actually where they're going to be released when they're 13 weeks of age. They'll take their first flight here, but during the time that they're up here, they're gonna be imprinting on this area, really kind of memorizing in their mind that this, is, this was their nest as far as they're concerned. And we're hoping that eventually, when they become sexually mature, that they'll bring one of their mates back with them to this general area to set up housekeeping and raise their own families here.